Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to embed a video in an email in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. Sometimes, if you're sending an email or a newsletter, you might want to embed a video in the email. This can help to give your email some standout, but there isn't an automatic way to do this in Gmail. It is pretty simple to do, however. I'll explain how to do it in two separate stages. Firstly, we'll create the image we want to use for our embedded video. And then I'll show you how to create and send the email. If we look at some examples of videos embedded in emails, you'll see that both fixed and moving images called GIFs can be embedded in the email. The images shown are usually screenshots from the videos they link to, and each picture also has a playback button added in front of it. This is used to encourage the email reader to click on the video. So let's start by creating the image we want to put in the email. I'm going to embed a Christmas e-card video in my email that is currently on YouTube. You'll need to ensure that the video you embed can also be accessed on the internet as we will link to it in the email. I'm going to take a screenshot of the video showing the image I want email readers to see in the email. I'm using a Mac so to take a screenshot, I'll press the Shift, Command and 4 key together. That allows me to select the part of the screen I want to copy. If you're a Windows user, you can press the Windows key, Shift and the S key together to do the same thing. Now that I've taken a screenshot of my video, I still need to add the playback button. You can use a free tool called Canva to do this really quickly. You can find Canva at the address shown on screen and in the description below. If you don't have a Canva account, you'll need to create one, but it's free and quick to do. I'll click on the Create a Design button to start, and I'll choose to edit a photo. Canva asks me to select my screenshot, so I'll click on that to upload it. I'll now click on the large blue Edit Photo button to add a playback button to this image. Once the screenshot is loaded, I'll click into the Elements section on the left hand side and in the search box at the top of this panel, I'm going to search for, you've guessed it, playback button. And I'll press the return key to show the results. Some images are only available to subscribers, indicated by this pro symbol. But you'll find plenty of free images, so look for the one that you like, and then drag it onto your screenshot. Once you've added your playback button, a top tip is that you can change the colour of the button, by clicking on the coloured square in the top left of your canvas. And you'll see there are a number of colour options to choose from. To complete that image, you now just need to download it by clicking on the large download button in the top right of the screen. There are some additional options you can tinker with in this section, but you don't need to make any further changes. Click on the large blue download button to save the video image to your computer. So let's now move on to create our email with the embedded video. I'm logged into Google and in my Gmail inbox. And I'll start by creating the draft email I want to send. I'll click on the Compose button to open a new email window. I want to send a Christmas e-card, so I'll quickly write the draft email for that. I'll add an email address, a Merry Christmas subject, and some best wishes. I'm now ready to add my embedded video. The first thing I need to do is add my screenshot to the email. To do that, I'll click on the Insert Photo link. You can do that by clicking on the Upload tab at the top of this window, and then click on your screenshot to add that to the email. Once that is done, I'm going to select the screenshot. You'll see that a number of sizing options are now shown, and you can click on these to quickly adjust the image size. I'm going to now add the link to the video I want to open when the reader clicks on the screenshot. Keeping the screenshot selected, I'll move my mouse to the taskbar at the bottom of this window, and I'll click on the insert link option. An edit link box appears, and you're asked to enter the link or URL of the video you want to use. I'll now return to the video I want to link to in YouTube, and to get that link, I'll click on the share option underneath the video and that presents a number of options. I'll click on the copy link to save that web address. Returning to Gmail, I can now paste that web link into the edit link box by right clicking and choosing the paste option. To confirm that, 
I'll click on the OK button. And the video is now embedded in this email. I'll click on the Send button to send that email off. And you'll now see that when the email recipient receives that email and clicks on the embedded video image, the video is then opened in YouTube. I hope you find this Wago guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks for watching.